What's up guys, so Bungie just dropped a small 30 second trailer of what's going to be going on with the Warmind reveal. Yes, on April 24th, 10 a.m. Pacific time, that is going to be the first Warmind reveal for the new Destiny 2 expansion. Looks like there's going to be three of them. Looks like one of them is going to be exploring the new location on Mars, which is going to be called the Hela's Basin. Then you have the new survival slash horde mode. Yes, the Hive Escalation Protocol looks freaking awesome. And also we're going to be checking out the new upgraded exotics and what updates are coming to the Crucible. I know we're going to be getting private matches and maybe like some a new game mode in the crucible i don't know if that's going to be happening or not but it looks like those changes will be coming and we will be able to see what's coming in the future i'm going to be going over kind of some small things that are in the trailer that maybe some of you miss maybe some of you don't know but yeah i'm just gonna be going over some of that stuff so from what the trailer gives us it looks like we'll be dealing with some sort of new upgraded hive that are covered in ice considering we are in the ice caps of mars i feel like that's partially why you know like we're there for a reason like they got to be frozen you know also the suros regime exotic auto rifle is returning from destiny one into Destiny 2, if you don't know what the Suros Regime is, a very powerful uh, auto rifle from Vanilla Destiny, like the original Destiny, is probably the most overpowered weapon ever. And then when Rise of Iron came out, they actually upgraded it to where you can either have it to where it's very slow firing, has a lot of range, does a good amount of damage, or it can do it as a medium fire, and then the longer you hold the trigger, the faster uh, the RPMs go, so it speeds up the fire on this weapon. So hopefully they still have those two options for this weapon in the game. We also get a glimpse of what some of the new gear and weapons look like for Warmind. I know that in the Dark Below, we dealt with Rasputin a little bit. And yeah, in uh, Rise of Iron, we actually get to go inside of part of Rasputin and check out the SIVA and what the Fallen have done there. I mean, that's pretty cool and all, but like we didn't get a lot of weapons. Like we got the Outbreak Prime, which yeah, Outbreak Prime was awesome. And yeah, it was very uh, Rasputin-y. There's also the Sleeper Simulant, which you had to do a whole quest for. It was a linear fusion. Well, not really a linear. I guess it's a linear fusion. Very, very high impact. Literally could drop any super with a body shot with this weapon. It's freaking amazing, but I'm glad that we get some of that more Rasputin-style gear. I'm totally ready. The new survival mode, Escalation Protocol mode, looks very, very interesting. Like, just from the short clip that we got, it looks like, from the clip, if you read it, that you must eliminate a certain amount of high before the timer runs out, I'm assuming. Uh, if you look, there's, like, the little emblem above that giant ogre, if you could see it. Like, it looks like that we have to eliminate them super fast. And, yeah, they do have the emblems above some of the enemies that have, like, the little sword or the skull, which means they're very, very powerful, which means that it's going to be very hard to take them down. So... Obviously, this has to be the new survival mode. This has to be the thing that we've been wanting for the past four years, which I'm so glad they're finally bringing it in. It's probably about to be very awesome. Hopefully, it has some exclusive gear that comes with it as well. The final thing I saw, it looks like that we're going to be getting some sort of exclusive PvE weapon for the, like that Mars Hellas Basin area, like uh, the Swords of Crota in Destiny 1 from the Dark Below expansion, the Scorch Cannons from uh, the House of Wolves Destiny 1 expansion, and the Iron Lord Axes that we get from the final Destiny 1 expansion, Rise of Iron. It looks like we're going to be getting some sort of staff that gives you some sort of protective layer. Uh, when you go to slam it, I don't know if that that's what it is or if the energy is charging up, I don't know, but it looks freaking amazing. That's really all I saw in the video, guys. But if you want to help support me, there'll be a link below. It's the best way to support me. I'll take you to a four-minute video. It's not Patreon or anything like that. I think it's a lot better in Patreon, and I believe you guys get a lot more out of it. But if you don't want to do it, you can always like this video, subscribe to the channel, and comment what you guys want to see below. I'm making content for you guys, so whatever you want to see, I will try to make a video on it. But name anyway, it, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. We'll catch you next time.